This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Hello everyone, this is Ranger Rob and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. Wow, busy day again today. Um, so today we have to go into town, take a box of poopy bags to the post office because you guys are buying them up and I really appreciate that. Turns out uh, uh, our most popular, um, well, new pro product is we have the poopy bags on rolls now, and people are loving those. So, uh, another shipment of those are going to Amazon. So, I wanted to show you you know, we told you that uh, Belle, our German Shepherd, has been in heat. Anyway, so we had to get diapers for her, which is just hilarious. And uh, makes a fierce dog look really war wimpy. But, Belle, come here. Come here. But you got to see her new cloth diapers personally <laughs> i call them mickey mouse pants <laughs> but uh she's been having to wear those and uh normally we only have it on her when she's in the house uh we just came outside for a minute and i thought oh they're so cute it matches her collar <laughs> poor dog so anyway uh as soon as she gets through her cycle there then we're going to schedule her for a getting spaded uh like i said i wanted to wait till she got a little older before we had her spaded just so we don't have any complications but now we gotta wait till this cycle thing's over with i've never had to deal with a dog with heat so anyway um the other thing we're going to do today is i got some more rollers in for my mouse traps so i can put some more into the big shop and uh mine's been working really well the one in this garage uh we've caught about five mice and uh I just think that's a great way to catch mice without putting poisons out and I'm kind of happy about that. But in the meantime, we got to go to town. Uh, we also got to go to Mattress Firm and uh, we have a mattress we bought in Arizona. It got really complicated because uh, it got damaged on the way up here and uh, they cl we claimed the warranty. They said okay, but now that we live out in the country, not so easy to do exchanges. So we're going to deal with that problem today. So anyway guys, uh, let's move on. We've got tons of things to do today. Well, sorry for the lighting, but uh, I was just watching some other videos, but uh, I noticed uh, uh, Farmstead Smith, I'm trying to remember the name, uh, they're saying that their Gorilla Cart, which ours, we have a Gorilla Cart too, got a flat tire and, and so did ours. And so we just ordered new non-flat tires, I guess with no tube tires, from Home Depot so that's what they look like and uh, Sherry's doing a little research and finding out this is very common that the Gorilla uh, carts get flat tires so anyway we'll be installing one of these real soon and uh, we'll sh let you see that happening but we still got errands around today so more things to do well guys we are back from roaming around town and uh, we did uh, pick up a new collar for Belle. Isn't that pretty? All bright colored. No, she doesn't have a diaper on right now. She's outside. Anyway, but I wanted to talk to you guys and get your opinions. I'd love to see it in the comments below. Because I have layered chickens. They're all Rhode Island red hens. And uh, I've been using medicated food for a while. And I'm kind of curious of... Uh, I decided to go with an all-natural feed, which is not all-natural because it's got all kinds of things in it to uh, help uh, with digestion and things like that and calcium and all that. So I went with a Swanson natural poultry feed, but there's also organic. And uh, so I love to hear people's opinions about uh, are they doing all organic with their uh, chickens? I mean, I, I realize there's a lot of people that... Uh, uh, give out, you know, give food, you know, scraps and stuff to their chickens and, and all that stuff and try to get them out in uh, real fields and stuff. But if you uh, got chickens that are encased into a, a coop, what kind of feed are you using and why? Uh, I went with medicated as they're younger and now they're a little bit past teenagers and now I'm going to move to a crumble and also a, a crumble that has a uh, miscellaneous things like corn in it stuff like that and uh, uh, also you're giving her uh, 
chicken's roughage or like stones or anything like that to help with the digestion. I love to hear what combination of foods you're using. Uh, I did a video earlier about the fact that we like to use hay instead of straw. Uh, and uh, anyway, so in the in the comments below, tell me what kind of feed you're using. I have layer hens. Uh, now meat chickens, obviously, they have some other high protein food to make them grow fast. But uh, I'm trying to avoid that, and I'm trying to. I'm just wondering if I. This is not organic. It's got additives to it. Is that good or bad? Um, or is it just kind of to the opinion of the owners? Uh, once again, I just love to hear your comments below. The other thing I did today, I'm still building up my gas supply. So uh, I took it out already, but uh, do you store up a lot of gas for winter? And uh, the thing you're hearing in the background, by the way, is the wife is mowing the lawn again. Yes, I would mow the lawn if she'd let me use the machine, but she loves that thing. So anyway, uh, uh, when it comes to chicken feed, what are you using? Why are you using it? How are you saving money? Are you using medicated? Aren't you using medicated? Are you uh, giving supplements to your chickens? Are you doing additives to their water? Uh, love to hear you guys' opinion about that. To take the conversation a little farther about feed, I decided to come out here and show you the kind of crumble I bought that has corn and mixed uh, nuts in it, which I think is good for di digestion. But I'm not too, it wasn't exactly what I thought I was getting. And, uh, uh, but I think that'll be good for uh, instead of using the uh, the grit. Uh, so the new food I bought is what I think is actually a crumble. It looks like this. And this has uh, oyster shells in it and some other additives. And uh, that's where I kind of question medicated. I wanted to start getting away from medication. I wanted to do it while they were young because they came out of state and stuff, but I got really healthy chicken. Uh, I don't think this is as nutritional if they're just eating that alone. So I want to mix my natural poultry feed crumbles with this crumble. And they called this a crumble too. Uh, and I think that would be a really healthy diet. So uh, once again, I'd love to hear your opinion. What are you doing for your chickens? So I'm going to pour my 50 pound bag in here and try to mix this up a little bit and uh, see how it goes. This is a follow up on my mouse traps. And so uh, I told you I was going to make a few more. So I got some Bymart five gallon buckets for $2.69 a piece. I thought that was a pretty good deal, so I bought some extras. And uh, I bought two more of these rolling mouse traps. And uh, I just like how they work. I mean, you can make your own, I understand. Anyway, I'm going to drill some holes and put those in. I grabbed a couple of pieces of wood, put a little clip at the end like so. And then that way I can just set them right there in there and let the mice go up on the ramp. And I'm going to put them in this garage because I know I got mice in here. So let me get those installed, throw some water in these, and we'll set them up. All right, so there we go. Two traps right here. Just got to add a, a little bit of water in these, put my ramps up there, put some peanut butter on them, and we're set to go. Okay, guys, we got those loaded. I used the ultimate bait, Skippy peanut butter. And... Uh, also forgot I needed to fill up the, the pool and the chocolate lab just can't wait so uh yeah lots of things going on I love it once again guys before I close this video don't forget to leave uh comments about your chickens and your thoughts of what you're going to do for your chickens or what you're doing today we'd appreciate it and uh uh those rollers I just showed you I got from Amazon I'll put a link in the description below they're quite affordable and they work really well it's better than building them yourself and they fit the buckets perfect so there you go or make your own um, anyway guys I'm gonna let you go thank you very much for watching please take the time to like and subscribe to our channel and share it all over uh, we'd really appreciate it we are very humble that you're uh, watching us and that you're uh, uh, become a subscriber and uh, we really appreciate you so uh, yeah guys stay in touch and make sure you say hello in the description talk to you later bye thank you very much for watching our video please take the time to like subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world thanks